What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back with the Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial is going to be in the, on the auto switcher mod, and what this mod does is it makes it to where when you hit a block, it will switch you to the most uh, necessary tool or appropriate tool to destroy that block. So say you have a shovel in your inventory, but you don't use it when you hit a uh, dirt block, it will switch to the shovel um, when you hit that block. So let me go ahead and show you this. Um, you do have to hit F10 to activate the mod. So there we go. I just hit F10. You can see it made my mouse kind of move freely. Go ahead and just click the screen again and we'll be back. So you can see I don't have anything in my hand. But if you look down at my inventory bar and I go ahead and click on the grass block, you can see that the yellow highlighting bar go ahead and goes all the way over to the shovel. And it'll use the shovel instead of my fist. It'll do the same thing with um, the stone and you can have any item in your inventory say you have a sword and you hit this it'll switch over to the diamond pickaxe I have and it'll use that instead and it'll always go back to what you had in your hand previously and it does work for the shears as well so if I want to collect some um, vines I can just use the shears it'll switch over to the shears for me and same with wood it will switch over to the pickaxe or the um, the axe I'm sorry so it's just very useful mod for making sure that you don't waste um, any item health on um, another object. Now another thing it does is if you're, say you're building something, you know, you're doing some sort of design and you accidentally place a block that you don't want right there, or like one out to the side, what you can do is you can hit it and it'll go back to the material you're building with before so it'll make it very easy to um, build things a lot quicker and a lot more efficiently so that is the auto switcher mod so I now need to clear out my minecraft jar after I do that I'll be back and I will show you how to install alright so what you need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program such as WinRAR 7-Zip or WinZip all these archiving programs will work relatively the same way so you can use whatever you prefer I'll be using WinRAR in this tutorial then the only things you're going to need to download are mod loader and the auto switcher mod itself. So to download mod loader and the auto switcher mod, I'll go ahead and give you a link to these two pages in the description. So first off for the auto switch mod, if we go ahead and scroll down, this page will give you all the information you'll need to know about the mod and exactly what it does in detail. So if we go ahead and keep scrolling down until we come down to the download section and we want to click on the download link for version 1.9.0 for Minecraft 1.2.5. So if you go ahead and click on this link right here, it'll take us over to an ad fly. And then it'll say, please wait five seconds up in the top right hand corner. After that five seconds is up, a yellow button saying skip ad will appear. Go ahead and click on the skip ad button once it appears. And this will take us over to Mediafire and you go ahead and click on download to download the mod. So that is how to download the auto switch mod. Now for mod loader, if we go ahead and come up to Resigami's mods and scroll down until you see mod loader 1.2.5, you can either download from AdFly or direct. Whatever you prefer to do, keep in mind downloading from AdFly will help support the mod creator. So that is how to download everything that you'll be installing. So when you're ready to install the mod, go ahead and come over to start, then type in percent app data percent, just like this down here in the bottom left hand corner. Then go ahead and open up your roaming, open your dot minecraft, open your bin, Left click your Minecraft jar, then right click it, do open with and select whatever archiving program you're using. I'm using WinRAR, so I'm going to go ahead and open it with WinRAR. Now you do not need your bin open anymore, so you can go ahead and just close that. So once you have your Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up Mod Loader. Highlight all these class files and drag them into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Go ahead and close Mod Loader. Now open up the Auto Switch mod and take this one class file and drag that into your Minecraft jar as well and hit OK. Go ahead and close the auto switch mod. Now in your Minecraft jar, you should see a folder called MetaInf. If you do not have this folder, that is okay. You can go ahead and just skip this step. But if you do have it, what you want to do is delete it. So go ahead and left click it, then right click it. Select delete files, then hit yes. And that will delete MetaInf. You want to make sure you're always deleting MetaInf when installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, it'll make Minecraft crash. So after you delete MetaInf, you can go ahead and close your Minecraft jar. And that's it. You're done installing the mod. So it's a very simple installation. I hope this video helped you guys out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.